The domestication of mammals was instrumental in the Neolithic development of agriculture and of civilization, causing farmers to replace hunter-gatherers around the world. This transition from hunting and gathering to herding flocks and growing crops was a major step in human history. The new agricultural economies, based on domesticated mammals, caused radical restructuring of human societies, worldwide alterations in biodiversity, and significant changes in the Earth's landforms and its atmosphere. Momentous outcomes. Domestic mammals form a large part of the livestock raised for meat across the world. They include 2009. Around 1. 4 billion cattle. 1 billion sheep. 1 billion domestic pigs. And. 1,985. Over 700 million rabbits. Working domestic animals including cattle and horses have been used for work and transport from the origins of agriculture. Their numbers declining with the arrival of mechanized transport and agricultural machinery. In 2004 they still provided some 80% of the power for the mainly small farms in the third world. And some 20% of the world's transport. Again mainly in rural areas. In mountainous regions unsuitable for wheeled vehicles. Pack animals continue to transport goods. Mammal skins provide leather for shoes. Clothing and upholstery. Wool from mammals including sheep. Goats and alpacas has been used for centuries for clothing. Mammals serve a major role in science as experimental animals. Both in fundamental biological research. Such as in genetics. And in the development of new medicines which must be tested exhaustively to demonstrate their safety. Millions of mammals, especially mice and rats, are used in experiments each year. A knockout mouse is a genetically modified mouse with an inactivated gene, replaced or disrupted with an artificial piece of DNA. They enable the study of sequenced genes whose functions are unknown. A small percentage of the mammals are non-human primates, used in research for their similarity to humans. Despite the benefits domesticated mammals had for human development, humans have an increasingly detrimental effect on wild mammals across the world. It has been estimated that the mass of all wild mammals has declined to only 4% of all mammals. With 96% of mammals being humans and their livestock now. See figure. In fact, terrestrial wild mammals make up only 2% of all mammals.